All right, yesterday I had to uh, answer mine. Our intern, Thumbelina, came up with five tough questions for each of us. Virginia, your questions here today. Here's your five tough questions. Number one, would you rather have the reputation of being really stupid or really <laughs> promiscuous? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? That's your reputation. You're known for either just, oh my gosh, Virginia is so dumb, or wow, you better <laughs> lock down your husbands, lock down your sons, because Virginia is sleeping with everybody. <laughs> okay, so I would rather people think I was dumb okay. than they couldn't trust their man around me. That would be sad. I think you can go further. Because a lot of times they, they look at you can't help dumb sometimes right. or ever. Dumb's not malicious. Right. You can't help sleeping with everybody. And then I'm just going to really work hard to try to, like, change the attitude and maybe have them think I'm not dumb. But, well, but then, oh. you know, maybe they just they care for you. They just, oh, they just love you. you just She's got a heart so of gold. Stupid. She's so dumb, but, man, sweet as pie. Yeah, I could not function in a world where all the women hated me because they thought right. I wanted to take their man. Right. That would just hurt me. Okay. I think that's the right answer. Okay, question number two. At gunpoint, you have to either eat a full plate of either raccoon spare ribs or deep fried gerbils. Which do you choose? Full plate of either raccoon spare ribs or deep fried gerbils. And the spare ribs are cooked. Yeah. The coon ribs? Yeah. I'm going with the coon ribs. I think so, too. I think that's yeah. the right call. I mean, I'll get through it. I've eaten weird stuff before, so yeah. that's not that bad, I don't no. think. I, where I'm from, I've probably had raccoon. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even doubt it. They, they will throw down a plate in front of you, and some of those houses are going, <laughs> uh, what kind of meat is this? I've seen people from Louisiana serve up squirrel. I've had squirrel. And mm -hmm. Nutria rat. I have not had the new. That's that giant rat, that's right? That's that giant. I've not had that. Big Mama rat. Okay. There are people that have eaten that. I, did, I have never eaten that. We did uh, squirrels and uh, we would do rabbits a lot. Rabbits, frogs. A lot of rabbits, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question number three. You're plowing through it here. Thumbelina's five tough questions for Virginia. On vacation, you see Harry Connick Jr. kissing a woman you know is not his wife. <gasps> It's not Jill Goodacre? It's not. Oh, my God. I would be really upset. Now, taking a photo and selling it to the tabloids will get you a guaranteed $100,000, <laughs> but his marriage will end. Oh. Do you do it? You have the power for $100,000 to end Harry Connick Jr.'s marriage. Do you do it? I love Harry, and I love him and Jill together. Sure, yeah. They've but... been together forever. Oh, I know. It's, it's a sweet story. certainly is. It feels New Orleans like, first couple. It feels like from a lot of the social media posts, he's still very, very into her, and she's kind of checked out a little bit. So uh -oh. I don't know. She does not post the stuff that he posts. Okay. Like, he gushes about her. Well, maybe she's just more private, Virginia. I don't know. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm reading into these pictures and oh, posts. Oh, easy. This is what I do. Uh, I'm I'm selling the photo for the money. Hundred thousand dollars. Yes, you're I'm, ending Harry Connick's. <laughs> his marriage falls apart. I'm so sorry, He's Harry. He's sad. He just he never gets it back together. You'll put out a great album filled with sadness and you pain. You see him on a street corner with next time you go to Mardi Gras and he's just like he's got a wine bottle and he's down and out. I'm so sorry and that you I have did to that. do this. It's a hundred thousand dollars. It is a hundred thousand okay. dollars. Am I evil? Uh, I mean, you know, honestly, he's really the one that did it. He yeah. kind of asked for it himself. You're he's right. the evil one. Thank you for relieving me of my guilt. Okay, two more here. Thumbelina's five tough questions for Virginia. Would you pick your nose and eat it in view of our boss, Elizabeth, for a month of free alcohol? <laughs> No. <laughs> but anywhere you go, it's all no. picked up. There's no tab. I, I don't, I care too much about her Six opinion. Six months. No. Six months. One year. No. Really? I, I'm, I, no. I she may think maybe she didn't see it right. Look, she's the boss. Yeah. She has a lot of control over our career. I don't But need, what are you going to do to somebody picks her nose and eats it? I, I mean, you, you, no. what are you going to hold them back? I don't need her with, with that in her head while she's helping me with my career. No. She just think you're gross. To. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay. I care about her opinion. Okay. And uh, final one here, your last tough question, Virginia. For the next 24 hours, 
you either have flaming hemorrhoids or rancid, uncontrollable flatulence. Which do you choose? Okay, so I have real life experience with both. Sure. So for 24 (laughs) hours, what would you rather deal with? Flaming hemorrhoids or rancid, uncontrollable flatulence? I'll tell you, it's hands down the flatulence. Hemorrhoids are no fun, Kevin. You've never been pregnant, so you probably... I never had them, never had them. Never had them yet, and and you don't have pooping problems. But people that have them can tell you they are awful, and they are weird, and they hurt. Okay. So I always pick farting. (laughs) <laughs> I think you probably it, it wouldn't be a punishment for you It's like okay it's just you'd, another Tuesday You'd love it <laughs> Alright there you go that is uh, your five tough questions Those are fun yeah. Thank you did a great you. job Yeah tomorrow we got Dead Jaber we got around for uh, Denny's Maybe we'll uh, have five for suits coming mm, up I love it